Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make the demo dialogue or the dialogue plugin um, from the Unreal Engine. Of course, this is a paid plugin to add in some dialogue that is um, uh, that happens automatically. So the dialogue that comes with the, the dialogue plugin, what it does is it has answers, but oftentimes you might be walking through a game and it just might have some dialogue. So in order to do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to add in this My Dialogue widget here, and we're going to duplicate this. And we're just going to call, and I already have the, the one that I, I, I have there called My Narrative Dialogue. Uh, I'm just going to call this Narrative. And that way, and that way it works here. Okay. So the other thing is I also have a um, uh, ba uh, a dialogue here, and if you want to do that, let's go ahead and you can just basically add in the dialogue plugin, add in a dialogue here, and you can see that we now have this here. Now, what I had to do was I wanted to make a PC uh, or NPC answer, and that way they just kind of um, move along here. So there's a few things that we need uh, to do here. So first of all, let's pull up narrative here, and I'm just going to close this here. And for the most part, um, there's a couple things that we can do. Um, we can, let's just go to the graph here, and we need to take off this, okay? Both these two things need to just um, go away here. And what we're going to do is we are going to set timer by event, okay? And we're going to drag in the false here and here. That's basically all that we need to do. We also need to drag off this event, and then we need to do create event. And the simulate function, we're going to do simulate next click. It should be already in there, simulate next click here, okay? So let's go ahead, let's compile that, and everything works out. Um, the other thing that you need to do is you need to change the time to um, to what each one is going to be. Now, if you want to change it so when the sound stops playing, you have to add in some extra functions. But for now, it's best if you add in the sound at the very end, by the way. Um, that's just a, a tip here. So let's just add it as two seconds for now. And then what we need to do is we need to actually promote this to a variable here. And um, I'm going to call this um, play next NPC narrative line. That's basically what what this is supposed to be. I'm just going to, of course, we need to actually promote it to a variable. And what's interesting about this is that we have the timer handler, okay? And so the timer handler uh, is, is basically what that is, okay? So now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and let's add in uh, some blueprint logic here. So let's open the level blueprint. And on the event um, begin play, let's add um, or create widget. Widget is going to just be narrative, okay? And then the in is going to just be test. And then we're going to um, add to viewport, okay? There we go. So let's compile that and let's just simply play it here, okay? And so as you can see here, um, there's a couple things. It plays automatically, um, but there's a, there's a couple other things. See how it says um, officer up there? Well, technically, uh, that I'm just going to pull this up again. So technically, this is something I did off screen here. I added in the name here. If you don't add in the name, um, then, so for instance, then and we save it, it won't add it in there. But there's a couple of other problems before we even move on here. So let's go into narrative and let's hop back to the designer here. So let's um, move this to the center. 
and then I'm actually going to push shift and move it down. Okay, and that way, you know, when we can have, you know, the officer here, um, and I push play, you know, that looks a little bit better. Um, and let's hop back in here, the narrative. And so we can have, um, you know, basically everything work out well. But let's move this up to the top, kind of like that. And then this guy up here, too. And this doesn't seem to be as centered as I'd like it to be. And so I'm just going to actually move this over here in the center. Just, there we go. And the other thing is you need to have the anchors up at the top for both of these here. Otherwise, it won't it'll look kind of funny. There we go. We have the officer, and then we should probably even move, move that down more like that. There you go. And so as, as you can see, it, it's better to have the dialogue up there just because, like, if you have a gun or your character's at the bottom, it might not look nice. But, I've, of course, you can, you can kind of uh, check it out. But for the most part, uh, that is how you set up to something that plays automatically. Okay. And, you know, as you can see, you'll just go through one of these here. Now, I believe if you add in an NPC um, or a PC answer, it, it completely ruins it. So let's just test that here. And then, okay, it doesn't actually do it at all. Well, that's actually really good. So um, it's a little bit. More, so my code is a little bit more robust than I thought it would be. So that's always good to know. So anyway, the point is, is that all it is is needs to be um, uh, NPC answers, and it will just simply scroll through that. But we need to learn how to skip each and every one of these. All right, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial.